Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We're hanging out in the kitchen today. We're actually going to make celery salt. All right guys, I'm super excited to make celery salt. I love now making lots of my own herbs and spices and making my own spice kits. It's become something that I'm super passionate about. I love the fact that you can grow and know exactly what's in everything you're eating. So for example, one of the things we made this year was our own paprika salt. Who knew all it was with a, was a certain kind of pepper that's dried and then crushed and that's paprika. So that's just one example. And then the other example has been celery salt. So I'm actually going to make celery salt today. I'm gonna to show you how we do it. And if you maybe wanna use it yourself, that's fantastic. You'll be able to make your own. Awesome guys, let's get started. All right, so it's pretty fitting that the first place for our first step starts in the garden. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest some of our uh, celery direct from the garden so that we can take it inside and dry it out. So let's take a look. So this is our celery. We have already done some cuts. These smaller pieces down here are have been cut once already and then the back pieces are a bit taller. They haven't been cut. You'll notice that they don't grow like typical celery in the grocery store. Um, I'm still trying to master how you get bigger stalks. These are heavy, heavy water um, feeding plants and heavy nitrogen eaters. So they are beautiful, beautifully lush and healthy definitely taste fantastic they just don't have the typical stock the super thick stock like this one over here is quite nice right here we got a nice big one going on there but lots of them are small and i think that just comes down to drowning them like they need more watering to be honest because their, their majority of them are water so or majority of the plant is all water but nonetheless these have great flavor so we're going to harvest some tops here and we're going to put them in the dehydrator and dehydrate them all right so we have cut up our celery and now we are we've washed it I've even taste tested some and it tastes yummy. So now it's time to put it in our dehydrator and we're going to put it in overnight. And I typically just put my, I keep my dehydrator on the same setting, 140 and 60 right here. And we are going to leave it overnight. Okay, so we have cut our celery into pieces you'll notice that we are going to dehydrate both the stalks and the tops lots of flavor in both and uh, they'll be all made use of so we've got two trays here and we're going to turn her on Put on our lid all right so we'll leave that be overnight all right guys, we have the celery all dried and now it's ready to be ground up and turned into dust. So let's do that. So this is our dried celery and we're gonna put it in our grinder. And I'm just using, this is a little um, coffee grinder for meant for grinding your coffee beans. And it's amazing how much I use this grinder in making all kinds of spices and herbs mixtures. It's just fantastic. Okay, ready? up a bit more I don't like to run the grinder too long it's I, I don't I worry the motor gets hot so I just do it in spurts it might be fine but I don't take chances all right that looks perfect all right we're gonna do that a couple times over I'm basically gonna finish off the two trays in here and then I'm going to come back and show you guys 
how we make the actual salt. I won't make you sit through all that. All right, so we have our celery all ground up. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, one major tip, make sure your bowls are super dry. The last thing you want to do is put moisture back into your uh, powders. You really want to ensure that they are dry. So the bowl that we're doing the mixing in, I've double dried to try and ensure that there's no moisture in it. Um, and we have it removed in this one. So our first step is we are going to take one beautiful tablespoon of our bright green celery put it in the bowl we are going to use a store-bought celery seed now if you could grow enough celery that you can harvest a ton of celery seed by all means do this you can grow this yourself um, I, I don't have that so we are going to use Marshall Creek spices I like Marshall Creek spices you can visit them online order your spices in bulk they have large sizes and they'll give you um, some discounts too I think they have a code if I can find it I'll put it in the comments below of how to get a discount for 10% off um, I think the code is called Walmart so we need two of these so two tablespoons of celery seed we are going to have one tablespoon of fine salt and you can play around with the salt in this if you are prefer fine salt more you can have um, fine salt multiple like more fine salt or you can have less um, I like kosher salt. Kosher salt for me is a favorite cooking. So we're going to add two tablespoons of kosher salt. Um, if I were to skip the kosher salt, I think I would just go with two tablespoons of fine salt as opposed to two tablespoons of kosher salt. So we want one tablespoon of fine salt, two tablespoons of kosher salt, for my recipe today. If you don't have kosher salt, go with two tablespoons of fine salt only. I'll put that a little bit of a summary down below so it's not so super confusing and you don't have to try and keep going back to find it. Now, the kosher salt will make this not look like normal table salt because kosher salt obviously is our normal celery salt, but kosher salt is chunkier. Again, I really like for some reason, I notice the difference in kosher salt in my cooking, and I like kosher salt way better than I do fine salt. So I'm gonna just put some, oh, put some in a bowl. And you can see our mixture. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you both mixtures. So that one here is store-bought. This one here is our homemade. So celery salt in the store, so not terrible. I mean, it tastes fantastic, that's fine. Um, and actually when you read the packaging, this is Clubhouse, which is actually, I was surprised to find on the packaging that it's actually a Canadian company. Um, it does not include any additives according to their ingredients list, no salt, just says salt and celery seed. So a couple of differences in what you're buying in the store is I have actual celery in mine, not just seed. So there's ground up celery leaf and ground up celery stock, which changes the flavor just a tad. Um, this is just seed and salt. So if this is the flavor you love, you may still want to go this route. And you, for if you want to buy this and make your own, um, or again, collect your seeds, you could certainly do that as well and just mix it with salt and you'd have exactly the same thing. But in my case, I love the color and I love the flavor of the additional celery in the mix. Plus, there's something to be said for having a cupboard full of beautiful bright green celery flavor mix that you can use at any time. If you're a prepper, you know you've got powders that you can add to your recipes and store for long term. If you are a cook who really just loves extreme flavor, you don't get better than this. Um, and if you're a gardener, you just love seeing your hard work like all that green and that beauty stored in your cupboards for future use. So 
having the powder in general is just fantastic. I keep on hand, I'll have a jar of um, my different powders and sometimes I'll make spices out of them or sometimes I'll add them into recipes. Uh, and I sell some of my powders um, or my herb, herb mixtures at the farmer's market as well. So I do a lot with powders and really like having uh, quite a few in the cupboard. So essentially, that's it folks. Dry it, grind it, mix it. Pretty simple and enjoy it. So that's it guys. I'll put the recipe down in the notes just so that you guys don't have to go back and rewatch and uh, hopefully you guys can have some fun making your own celery salt. Awesome. Be friendly. Be kind. <laughs>